This is a demonstration of the process that faculty can use to recycle a course or personal master. In Blackboard, whenever you have a personal master or a course shell that you need to empty completely of its existing content to prepare it for another update, perhaps another import of content, these are the steps you would follow. And they're called the, it's called the bulk delete process. So in this course, I'm going to go down to my Packages and Utilities area and click on Bulk Delete. And on the Bulk Delete screen, I will select all of the areas and tools in the course that I want to have cleared out of its content. So I will select everything. And to delete all the content, I have to confirm by typing Delete with a capital D. And then I'll click Submit. And so what will happen is you'll see a status message at the top of the page that says success, your bulk delete action has been queued and email will be sent when the process is complete. So usually the bulk delete process takes just a few minutes or so to complete. You can refresh your screen to see if there's any progress. And you'll see right away on my screen, the content areas that had content previously are now empty. There is no content. So, so in syllabus, there's nothing here. Weekly lessons, there's no longer anything here. Discussion board, no posts, and so on. So the next step in the bulk delete process is if you need to delete the actual menu items off of your menu, you can click on the down arrows next to these items and click delete, like so. So that'll clean out the menu in the event that you need to import materials into the, the course. This will make sure that you're getting rid of duplicates ahead of time. This is a best practice to remove anything that might become duplicated later on. It's much easier to do this now than later to untangle that. Okay, once you've deleted all of the other content and uh, links out of your menu, the final step that I recommend, especially if this is going to be a personal master, go to your content collection and you'll see that even though you performed a bulk delete, you have all these files and folders. And that's because the bulk delete process just clears out your menu. It doesn't actually clean, clear out your content area in the course or co content collection in the course. Any files that you had actually uploaded actually are still a part of your course's content library. So to prevent duplication with further imports, I do recommend clicking on the checkbox at the top of this list and clicking delete and OK. And depending on how much content is in this course, you may need to follow that process a couple times. So there was at least two pages worth of content here. I'm just going to select that checkbox, click delete, click OK, and so on. So now I know this course is completely clean. There's no content floating in the back end here on the course content page. There's no content out in the course menu. So now this this master, for example, course is completely empty and ready for a new import of content. And that's the recycling process.